Breakfast is gonna be real damn simple today. I'm gonna be doing one half cup of oats. I'm gonna be doing one scoop of Hydro Whey protein. Greens, gotta get your greens. It makes me mad that Optum doesn't have this product, but that being said, I will say I'm working with them on a lot of good stuff and hopefully we have something to you like this in January. I'm also gonna eat a freaking rice cake because it's all that's in the house. And I'm gonna put some PB2 on it. PB2, if you guys have never had it, it's pretty much just like dehydrated peanuts. There's really not a whole lot of fat, so there's one for one um, serving, which is two tablespoons. It is six grams carbs, four grams protein, and one gram fat. So it's more carbs than anything. Boom. The good news is, too, guys, I don't travel. I don't travel for another six weeks. I don't travel to the Olympia, so however far, however far out that is. That might only be five weeks, but I don't travel at all until then. If people wanna meet, they gotta come to me in California. Um, for my oatmeal, I do put sea salt in it. So before I cook it, and I, I'm one of those people that I don't measure out the water, but I put a little sea salt in it. Maybe there's other people that you follow that do this. Um, if anyone does that, it's because of me. Just letting you know right now. There's absolutely no coffee in here, but it makes me feel like I have some and I need some in my life right now. Cheers. Liquid stevia, right in there. A little bit of cinnamon. That's a stale rice cake. <laughs> the rice cake is stale. I haven't been home in 10 days. Okay, I mean this is really a difficult recipe here. You take the PB2 and it really is actually tough because you don't know how much water to put in. If you put too much in there, it's just gonna be soup-like. If you don't put enough in there, so it's always better to shy on not putting enough in there because you can always add more. Guess what guys, um, I'm thinking about opening up a gym in St. George, Utah. It wouldn't be for a while, at least six months, so don't get too excited, but I was there yesterday looking at potential. I already have two great partners, great guys, but I want to find the perfect spot too. Oh yeah, you like that? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Jim douche to the rescue. Breakfast it up. I'm gonna tell you guys what my macros are for the morning. I know roughly what they are, but I want to make sure I'm getting them right. 41 protein, 52 carbs, and six fat. That's pretty low on fat. That's really low on fat for breakfast. So I know I'll have that to make up for later on in my day. Um, my macros right now are about 235 grams protein, about 236.5 grams protein. They're uh, 280 grams carbs, and then they're about 75 grams fat. So we're gonna do our best to hit that. I always kinda like to give a, a NOAA rough estimate before I eat anything, what the macros are on it. This shit's real right here. This is really good. Good morning. Welcome to my vlog. Baby, this the microphone check up what you're getting into. We ain't get up when I wake up early, I'm a text. I heard you got a man, baby, I could do it better. And I really ain't the plan, I just want you to remember how I was, how it is, how it could be. You can put me in, you can push me. For the night, everything's all right. When you lay down, I'ma hit the lights. You say so. And what's the life if it don't got me? <sighs> yep. I'm not going to say I have the coolest bike in town, but I have the coolest bike in town. Now, if I could just figure out how to ride it. Because I haven't ridden a bike probably in maybe like 10 years, like constantly. Like, I've ridden a bike here and there in cities that I've traveled around the world, but it's such a good way to get around. Pure fixie, got down the street. I literally walked in, I was like, it's 300 bucks, so it's a fixed geared. Um, it's not like the cool fixed geared that don't have any brakes. I'm not that hardcore, but for everything I do, the beach is like a mile and a half that way. Everything around here is super flat. We can even go to Chick-fil-A on this thing. So I got one, Chan Man got one. Chan's is pretty cool too. Um, but biking everywhere, just what it's done is it's made me get more froyo. I'm like, it's kind of like working in retail. You spend all that money that you, like, you're like, oh, I'm working here because I get a discount. I'm like, oh, I have a discount on calories because I'm actually riding my bike. I'm doing more cardio. So I just fill that in with, with Froyo. Rah! I bet you guys can't see me. 
because I'm wearing green and this wall's green. Oh, people in California love their grass. Like, honestly, I smell it all the time around here. Like, I mean, it's legal to have grass walls like this, so they just love it here. And the good news is I can jump out and scare people anytime I want. So this, if you guys follow me, and maybe in other videos you've seen, this is my home gym. Pretty amazing spot. It's like 6,000 square feet. All the free weights are down below. All the stretching and cardio stuff upstairs. Best part is the view. It's like just natural light everywhere. They even have like a forest growing inside. Look at this. It's right in the middle of the gym. So I come in here. Maybe it's the green plants, but I just feel like I'm at one with nature and there's not a lot of places you can feel like that in LA. So I typically come out here and I just do my, do my stretching. So I am not very flexible. I wasn't one of those kids in high school that stretched like I should have. So now I'm super tight, especially from riding on flights or riding on planes and trains and automobiles. So I've been doing this for about two months. Just thinking it's working. I can do some things that I couldn't before. But typically you should stretch about, you know, for every hour that you work out, stretch 15 minutes for every hour that you work out. Just picked up Big Sis, Dr. Candace McLean. Whoop, whoop. She's in the back there. Chandler had the right shotgun so he could film this. And now I'm gonna lose. Okay, getting out of LAX can, like, it's it's seriously so difficult at times. Just being at LAX, I don't even, if Chandler flies into town, I don't pick him up. And if I fly into town, I don't ask Chandler to pick me up because I just take an Uber. It's so much easier. It takes years off your life driving into this place, but we roll out the carpet for Big Sis. Aww. Meal number two. We are here at my home away from home. Um, I'm not gonna lie, my fridge is broken and I would eat at home a little bit more often, but I'm at Chick-fil-A at least three times a week. Today, we got what I always get. Grilled nuggets, eight count, grilled chicken sandwich, and a superfood salad. I put my buffalo zesty sauce on it. I don't mess with other condiments like this one. I know people that do, but these are where you get a lot of cal extra calories. So read labels, find the condiments that's low, lower in fat, lower in calories. This whole meal is gonna be about um, nine grams fat, about 53 grams protein, and about 47 grams carbs. Check it out, I'm right, or very close. So I've had two meals. I'm at 950 calories for the day. I still have like 2,200 to get. So this is gonna be a big work, a big meal because it's also my pre-workout meal. I'm probably gonna go like 75 grams carbs, 10 grams fat, and probably like 40 grams protein. And then tonight, I'm gonna have a higher fat meal because for some reason my fat's super low right now. You can never go wrong with a little sushi nigiri sashimi combo. Actually, I don't even know how to say this. Tsunami combo? Is that tsunami? I'm gonna be really embarrassed if that's tsunami and I don't know how to say it. I'm gonna get a little salad. Because I don't have any veggies with this. Because an avocado is technically a fruit. Or is it a veggie in? I don't know. It's about a half cup of quinoa. Throw a little balsamic vinaigrette on there, we're good. You see that? True Food Kitchen sign, I work there. One in Newport, one in Santa Monica. This one wasn't built, this is in South Bay here in LA. It's amazing food, guys. All based on Dr. Andrew Wiley's anti-inflammatory diet. I like it because it's healthy and it tastes good and I know exactly the ingredients because I worked here forever. I actually worked here when I prepped for a couple of the very first men's physique shows that I did and I kept that diet on point. Just get done with the workout, let's go grill. So, uh, we're not at True Food Kitchen. Uh, it was closed, so we came next door. I don't even know the name of this place, but it was also a, it was also a Fox restaurant concept who owns True Food, same people. So I knew it was gonna be good food. So we're splitting a pizza and then I'm getting a salad. That's how I roll. I had a lot of fat and I had about 100 grams of carbs left. So, hate me because you ate me. Because I'm, 
I know I've had a lot of fat on that other pizza because of the cheese. Taking the cheese off this salmon, obviously we got good good fats on there, but still I'd be coming close to my 75 grams total. I can figure out all the macros on this um, going on the website or somewhat. And again, last meal of the day, I know I had a lot. So salmon salad with two slices of pizza, perfectly fitting macros and having a good time. Super productive day. Not always the easiest when your fridge isn't working. Come on, I'll show you guys. I'm gonna be so excited tomorrow. I'm gonna probably get a mini fridge and then people that own this place are gonna replace this. It's a nice fridge too, 76 degrees in there. All my Icon meals went bad, but that's okay. We made do with it. We ate out a lot today. It was an expensive day of eating and I'm actually 25 grams short on my protein. So I'm at 270 grams carbs, which is 10 grams short but I'm at 85 grams fat, so I'm high on the fat side, and I thought that might be the case because I had a little bit of pizza, two slices, but it was artisan pizza, so you gotta kinda like, you gotta take it. I'm gonna finish the night with a little hydroway here after I shower. Um, I don't have any casing on me right now, but I'm some hydroway, get it 30 grams here, hit my macros, and really, I'm gonna be pretty much spot on for total calories, and that's the name of the game. So if you guys, tracking calories, it doesn't have to be a pain in the ass, it doesn't have to be a chore. What you guys are wanting to do is just, you can estimate as best as you can on things. Because so many people out there, and this is including me, what I would do is if I had one bite of something naughty, one bite of something that wasn't tilapia or chicken or on my diet, the floodgates open and I just went ham. And I know you guys know what I'm talking about. If you have one bite of ice cream, you're like, I didn't track it, it's not what it's about. It's about making the best decisions that you can in front of you and then able to live a little bit. So I tracked all day, ate well, I wasn't eating crap food. And then at the end of the night, those two slices of pizza really only the naughty thing I had, everything else was tracked. That's fitting your macros, especially on a day like today when I am not able to cook my own food. I don't eat like this all the time, but I wanted to show you how I was gonna do it with my sister in town, with um, you know not having a place to store food. So that is it for today, eating without a fridge. Thank you guys for checking it out. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Tell a friend, give this video a thumbs up. I don't say that often enough. Give it a thumbs up. Good night guys, it's too late, I'm going to bed. More rotated, externally rotated, and I lean slightly forward and I squeeze. This last third part of the movement here is the most important.